Well, hi, welcome back um, to Encore, brought to you by Absolute. And we have Andre, who is Hello. the, um, I know you hate the term, but the curator of, of this, of the festival here in Shelter Island. Yeah, it's a big word. <laughs> Why no, cu you curating yeah. is a big word because this happened more like a friends and family uh, idea. Mm -hmm. So I was out here like a few weeks ago and we were like having dinner with Andre Belaz, who owns the place. And I said, like, it's amazing, we should do a little festival. And then he said, yes, let's do it. What made you pick some of the bands? I mean, we have Exit Music and some brilliant bands. From, from yeah, Steven brilliant. South like, it was more like, uh, there's a band called Gazelle. They played at Baron. They were amazing. They, from they, South they, Africa. I mean, yeah, yeah, and they brought back, like, a kind of funky electro vibe that I didn't see. And on stage, they were amazing. And they had this festive side. Then there is Gus and Scout are like, I love them, they're cute and it's so pretty. And it's like, almost a bit of country, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, and it's like the first concerts they're doing. Then there's TV Baby, a real like New York band, and uh, my friend since ever. Then there's my friend Natasha from Paris. So it's really like a mix of friends and then there's some DJ. Like we, we yeah. put the friends who were ready to come and, and play the game with us. Yeah. and Scout, you guys are here and you're performing this evening. Thank you so much for taking the time. And um, first song I heard of yours, I think it was um, Gone, Gone, Gone. And I had no idea what to expect. And I was so, ah, oh, I mean, it just took me away. And I, I just want to know, where did, the, how did this happen? How did you guys come up with the sound? Is this something that you organically just listened to? Because there's a real bluesy country kind of feel. Tell me how this all came about. Um, Gus and I were uh, friends when we were really young in Idaho um, and then kind of reconnected when we uh, went to school together at Brown University and we just started kind of fucking around and playing music and then it was just like the kind of music we both had always wanted to write and never found the person to write it with mm. right. so it happened really organically and it was just a mixture of like influence of all the music that we like and like to listen to and yes. wanted to. Uh, we both really uh have kind of a passion and like deep, deep interest in, in the same kind of traditions of music, like country music mm -hmm. and soul music. And we also shared a lot of the same emotions about certain things that we were writing about, you know, relationships right. and our people and uh, circumstance. And so it felt very sort of natural and, and honest.
Thank you for coming. It's exit music. Thank you. Uh, what made you decide to make music together? Was that an instant connection when you met at 18, or was this something that gradually... Uh, well, we were both already writing music on our own. Um, I'd been recording since I was about 13. Um, so I think it was just a natural thing to do it together once we were under one roof in a studio apartment. There's sort of no separation anyway, so you kind of, you know, I think for like the first week I would still write my projects and he would start to write his and then it was just, let's just do this together. And where did the name come from? Because it's, uh, you know, it's variant uh, speculation. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> Set the record straight. Go on. <laughs> well, it's just a film term. That, is refers or a, or a theater term that refers to the last song that plays after a uh, play or a movie is over and people mm -hmm. are leaving the theater. So the idea came when we were watching uh, Space Odyssey 2001, and it actually the words actually appear on the screen at the end of the movie, and that's that's when we thought of it. But yeah, people tend to think we named it after a Radiohead song, right? Which would be fine, but we actually didn't. from South Africa. Hi guys, Gazelle. Has this sort of Afro beat influence been a big part of you, you know, the music you've listened to growing up? Definitely. I mean, uh, I grew up in the bush in, in mm. South Africa, so like it's really within me, you know. I grew up with traditional South African and different African music, and uh, it's basically just became a part of my life, and that's why when I came to America, I was looking for musicians that, you know, had the spirit, you know. Right. I was going to say, you don't sound very South African. No, <laughs> I met. I met you gotta make them. You gotta be totally. <laughs> I mean, how? Tell me. I mean, you, you're you're big back where you're from in South Africa. How are you finding people are responding already playing um, in the state? So far, so good. I mean, like I'm a I'm a showman. You know, I my fan my favorite musicians of all time were people that were performers. People like uh, James Brown, Freddie Mercury, you know, Boney M. You know, okay. people that went the whole way. You know, that did effort. They said, you know, we can sing and dance. We can make music. Let's entertain the people even more you know mm -hmm. bring the people a show so that is that's our aim and goal you know to bring the people a show and an experience as a whole so yeah <laughs> Thing you do, I'm positive. 
We go, we go, we go. 